What's good everyone? Welcome back for another session. This is Jen. I saw an extremely interesting post from Misaka on Twitter. I think it was yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. And uh, it really begs the question and I think it's a good opportunity for you guys to kind of, you know, have a conversation about essentially which units are you most excited about getting an easy A. At some point, all of these units will. So we're looking at the uh, Dokkan featured characters or Dokkan Fest units. And, you know, the ones that are grayed out already received an easy A. Some of it's surprising considering, you know, some of the older uh, units like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, uh, Mega Shenron haven't received one yet, especially the uh, strength type Ultimate Gohan. But, you know, out of, out of the units here, which units are you most excited about? Uh, potential easy A. And I'm going to break down uh, my personal picks uh, here in a second. But again, this is the uh, Dokkan Fest featured units or featured characters and then this will be the LR character version right so you've got units like LR Gohan, uh, Majin Vegeta, the strength type Broly, LR Bardock, Goku and Frieza receiving the easy A but there are still a couple of the older OG LRs that are still pending and again the same question to you guys on which units um, are you most excited about getting an easy A because again they will at some point. So let's talk about some of the units that I'm personally excited about. We'll start off with the obvious pick. This is still, to this day, one of my favorite units. I mean, it's it's probably still within my top five, like, personal favorites. But really, for this guy, I mean, considering he came out on JP in December 28th of 2017, uh, still, you know, a very good unit. I think the biggest thing about this unit is the uh, defensive liability issues. So <clears throat> as you can tell, there's no really, there's not really any built-in defensive mechanisms or skill sets within, you know, the passive super attacks or what, well, outside of the uh, stacking effect from the defense, which, you know, in longer events, this guy can uh, stack up defense to a pretty decent level because of all the, all the chances of, um, you know, uh, multiple super attacks. But I think some sort of built-in addition to defensive boosting from the passive would be, essentially all this guy needs and once the easy a actually happens for this guy uh, as well as rose um, i think a lot of people are going to have a very good time with those units uh, second pick from a dokkan fest standpoint is i'm still waiting for this to happen but if it does and when it does i am going to be extremely extremely happy i mean this guy is still a unit i run on a lot of teams uh, great great support has built-in skill sets to you know stun the enemy where ap applicable but Again, similar to Vegito Blue, this guy is such a defensive liability in the tougher events. It just makes including him a little bit difficult, right? And all he really needs, I mean, I'm not looking for improvements necessarily from an offensive standpoint. Uh, as long as, you know, defensive improvements take place for this unit and it's a little bit more of a viable option to include on teams for, again, the tougher events. Um, that's essentially all I'm looking for, you know, so... He's got the transformation mechanic, obviously, and I'm sure there'll be some minor tweaks here and there, but from a high level, uh, focus on defense with the EZA. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Now, I think maybe I have one more. Yeah, so uh, Goku Black, the intelligence type version, is another one that I would like to really see in EZA. I think this unit could be a lot of fun with uh, potential upgrades and... You know, honestly, I'm not sure what I would want out of this unit. Maybe a little bit higher, you know, firepower with the, uh, you know, attack side. Uh, but outside of that, I, I really can't think of much. But any improvement would be a welcomed opportunity for this unit, in my opinion. All right, I'm going to move over to the LR list. I only have two. And uh, this is hands down probably the unit I want getting an easy A. I'm... I'm the thought of that is extremely exciting and you know level 10 links at 100 percent potential this guy is still a very very good unit or these guys i should say and you know depending on how you set up the rotation i mean you could you could get these guys up to like 8.4 8.5 million attack stats if i'm not mistaken I, I ran a test a while back with level 10 links at rainbow but I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong, but uh, I would certainly like them to get a little bit better. Um, I, I think, you know, from the, uh, at the very, very beginning, from the get-go, unless he builds up that defense, um, he, de you know, these, this unit definitely takes a lot of damage, so that's definitely something to uh, consider with the uh, potential Extreme D Awakening. All right, I'm not going to go into full detail about this one, I just kind of want to cover it in high level, but... 
the last choice for me is uh, the physical type LR trunks. And shout out to uh, Social Fire. This is her favorite uh, Dokkan unit. <laughs> Unfortunately, unfortunately for her, this is like the unicorn of the game, right? She has yet to pull a single copy of it, so um, hopefully that happens sooner than later. But for me, when it first came out, I was really, really excited. And uh, August 2017, yeah, it's, it's quite a few years ago now, but such an iconic scene in the, uh, the manga and anime series. And... Uh, you know, I would simply love to see an improvement on this guy. I already have this guy level 10 links. I think it's at 90%, but you know, just looking for that last copy, but also that EZA would do a lot of wonders. And I think it's a similar story with this unit, like the other ones that I covered. Just defense, you know, you're able to raise defense by 30% for three turns based on the, the 18 key super attack, but uh, as well as the 12 key, but there's literally no skill sets built into the passive skill toward defense. And that's really, I think, in my opinion, one of the things that are uh, hurting this unit in terms of relevancy to include on a unit and, uh, or on a team, I mean. But any, you know, any sort of defensive improvement, uh, probably, you know, some secondary built in skill sets based on like categories or whatever the case is, maybe like Wicked Bloodline or uh, Androids or something like that would be appropriate for this unit. But yeah, I mean, it would be uh, an amazing thing, and I think a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, but some people thought this guy might potentially get an EZA post the Worldwide Celebration or 350 million download celebration because of, you know, the, the segue into the, the next era, or arc, I should say, but didn't happen, but uh, we'll see what, what does. Um, the one thing I do want to note, I guess, is like, out of these guys, like, I almost feel like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's EZA is coming up at some point, especially, you know, with uh, the um, Heroes collab coming up and maybe after that they might do something like this or wait till year end and, and give these guys an EZA. Maybe that's going to happen. I don't know. But I'm sure there's a lot of units here out of the two, uh, you know, LRs and uh, Dokkan Fest units that you're highly interested in receiving an EZA. So, you know, let me know in the comments as to like, you know, which units you want to get an EZA the most and uh, what kind of improvements you're looking for in these units post EZA. All right, this pretty much wraps up what I wanted to talk about today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace out.